Hi guys and welcome. If you want to build a landing page or website, that's much more better and faster to make that happen with uh, website building platforms. And in this video, I want to show you one of those. As for my own opinion, this is one of the best and most powerful tools available on the market for now, uh, for 21st year and for 21st century, actually. And everything is uh, very simple and easy. Everything is drag and drop and you can make uh, you can build your own landing page or website literally in minutes. So one hour is pretty enough to build up your site uh, according to the option that you can uh, use a template that already pre-built and you just need to customize them. Uh, so not to waste your time, I don't want to make this video like one hour long tutorial to show you everything uh and blah 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 so i want to make this video as short as possible with maximum value uh for you and it's much more better to spend uh, your free time not to watch videos on youtube but to build up your site and to build up your future and to build up your uh physical landing page or website so what do you need to do our team left the link in the description panel of this video and you can easily get access to this platform straight from this video just clicking on the uh, on the link in the description panel and you're going to be on some kind of mm, uh, such start page launch page page and you need to press start a free trial uh, the registration process is absolutely simple i'll not show it to you uh, that's why let's jump straight to business and let's go inside that how platform looks from inside you need to press create new landing page or if you want a site you uh, need to choose the site yeah let's create new landing page here in this spot you'll be on the page where you can discover all of those ready and pre-made templates that are available for editing uh, and this is insane because there are, there are a lot of them and you can sort all those by page type like bottom bio blank build with me check out and so on and so on also industry can be handy like an author automotive business and marketing what the purpose actually of your uh, website maybe it's health and wellness or it's real estate and uh, and so on and so on so you need to check all those and you need to be as specific as possible in this spot to find the correct template um uh, in this category and to use that template to customize it a little bit uh not to build it from a scratch not to build it from a ground okay uh, and that will save you a lot of time of editing actually but all the editing features are pretty the same and that's what i want to show you because uh if you're going to find out how to edit things and how to manage all those tools that are inside the platform, you'll be able to build everything that you want and with any idea that you want in any category. So first of all, we need to give our um, our site a name. Let it be like that. We're just uh, going to change it later. It doesn't matter for the moment. Uh, and it's going to be displayed in the list of your project. So you probably may may understand which project do you editing right now. And what do we have here? Let's discover all the buttons. Back, understandable, lead matter. This great widget that shows uh, how your uh, web, uh, how your page will convert your visitors to your customers. And right now it's excellent. Yeah, uh, but while you're going to make some changes on the side it can go down or or up back and you need to uh, consider that because um actually this is a great tool and it's very handy so if you have some uh, rubbish things if you made some dummy stuff it will show you that your page will not convert as you want uh, i'm gonna show you an example a little bit later uh, so save redo undo button preview mode uh, in which you can see how your uh, how your page will be displayed on different types of devices and that's very important because uh, nowadays a lot of traffic flows from mobile devices and you need to make sure that everything works properly uh, from the mobile or tablet or desktop so what do we have more layout sections widgets styles and settings and i'm gonna show you all that let's go to layout let's start from the beginning 
uh, here you can find all the sections that you have because everything built with the sections like one another uh, second third and so on uh, and you can add some sections here you can delete them with this trash can button uh, you can change the name of it uh, and you can find the section style and what's in this section because uh, all the elements are pretty transparent here and uh, you can see them before you'll hover over this uh, all these elements all right so you can add from here add a column or a row so this is actually infrastructure of your uh, of your page and of your each section in this page uh, let's go to section style here and you see that there's an image uh, there's a lot of a lot of stuff to uh, to discover and a lot of things a lot of settings to play around with but let's change some image uh, straight from this spot uh, here you can use your images that's previously used for previous projects premium images that you can buy straight from uh, Shutterstock uh, right here in this platform you can type keywords to search and buy these pictures uh, it's about eight bucks per picture so it's up to you or uh, maybe you have your own pictures and you can upload it uh, from your computer so i'm gonna use this picture i like it so much and here you go the picture is there and like kick off your next phase of fitness with a free workout plan and let's let's think that we have that plan and we need to send it to our uh, our visitor but right now if you can see the text is pretty invisible here yeah what should we do with that we go into layout we go into the the spot where we can change an image and you see image color overlay let's go here and let's add some color it can be totally custom color that we want yeah you see let it be great and we change in the opacity so we can see the picture on the background and uh like it's some kind of filter yeah it's overlay and that looks great as for me uh only thing that i want to do i want to change this uh text to white to change some text uh, to change all the things with the text you just need to double click on the text uh and here you go we're gonna change it to white simple yeah uh also we know that here we have like you see we have a spacer and uh, when you hover over the surface, you'll find that you have such dividers. So when you're just grabbing and moving it, uh, you can get the shape of the text you know, pretty as as you want. Yeah, if it's not enough, uh, you need to delete this stuff. But it's nice for me. I like this shape. And when you're hovering over, you'll see that there are a lot of uh, interesting stuff that you may not see uh buttons and forms one of the most important parts and that's uh what i will say to, what i'll show you a little bit later let's find out that all the all the style changing happens in each element just to show you with this pencil button yeah that's pretty simple so let's add it the button we go into style and we see that we can make it small medium or large button full width or uh, like that small we can put it left hand we can put it right hand in the center here it's logical to place it there we can make it rounded to change the shape of uh, of the corners you see it can be circular but i like the square it can be flat like that it can be line and that also very cool and i like that style but it's uh not always you can use that style or it can be the gradient you see what's happening when you're hovering over it changes uh, the color yeah and all the colors can be changed here for example background color will be uh will be that one and text will be the black or like you can play around with that uh, a lot really a lot and that's why it's up to you actually all the style is up to you let's go forward uh, what do we have here sections yeah in this layout going back 
we see that we have just two sections here. We can add a section from this spot and you can see that about call to action, contact us, FAQs, and a lot of different things that already pre-built for you. Or if you didn't found the section that you want, you can use the blank sections. Yeah, with a layout that you want. So let's use this one and just drag and drop it here. Okay, now we have in our layout, we have body, footer, blank and about. About this one, we don't need this about. Let's delete it and footer is not on the spot. So we grabbing it and putting it here. Uh, also, we can see that there's orange color that is not, uh, not the background of this section. So we go into styles and perhaps it's page background. Yeah, yes, it is. Switching it off, we're going back and uh, we can change section settings we can add some color it can be this gray uh and you see it's like almost one style yeah for entire page or you can make it black and it's gonna be uh one style with a footer or you can separate this um you can separate this color like with like that maybe yeah all right cool so you see that this spot is not so big you can change it here to make it more balanced and more uh, more visible uh, and we gonna go to widgets that's cool because those eight is pretty enough to build everything that you want in the order that you want uh, and any any page contains text image and text videos uh, images and interactive elements like buttons and forms. Here also you have line and spacers. That's pretty it. For example, I want to show some video from gym or from our workout plan. Yeah. Also, uh, I want here to be the button to order now. Or I want to add some text and you see all those blue boxes like drop here. You can drop it here. I showed you what happens with the text. Uh, you can just uh, double click on it and divider. You remember that we have two columns here, so you can move it around and get the shape that you want. Uh, spacer, drop, spacer, drop, buttons here, text is here button is here that's pretty it that's simple uh, as it seems it's really simple all the editing features happening with this pencil button on each element and you see uh, inactive button you see that red box you need to add click event and that's most important part of this uh, video actually because uh, you need to switch on all the buttons there are a couple options. Open a pop-up, calendar pop-up, jump to page section, link to landing page, link to external URL. In most cases, it's going to be the pop-up and you can choose it from the list. For example, we have uh, some pop-up forms uh, here on, on this template that we choose and let it be like that. So we're going to edit the pop-up. You can edit everything here. Enter your email address to get your free workout plan. All right. And what's most important, so you can change the background, all the things here with the three dots button, edit section settings. This is simple. And you need to edit integrations and we jump into the section where uh, we're going to edit the form. So integrations, how are you going to get notifications about new leads? So you're going to get it to your inbox of your email or you can add an external uh, service, like more services. And look at that. That's incredible list. Active campaign, convert kick, get response, MailChimp. You can connect those incredible, powerful email marketing tools to your website. If you don't have account for one of those, um, some of them are free um, in some amount of uh, emails per month or per uh, one cent. Yeah. Or if you don't want to pay for one of those tools, you can integrate everything with a Zapier and Google Sheets. For example, you're going you're gonna to get new leads to your Google Sheets. Cool. Just incredible that you can make that happen. If you're planning to get like one or two leads per day, maybe 
uh, it's pretty enough to get, get notifications with your inbox. But if you're gonna run at some some ad campaigns and you're planning to get more uh, more than two one more than you can afford, yeah, more leads than you can afford. So definitely, it's better to use the CRM system. It's better to integrate it with external services. What's happening here in fields? Uh, you can add a field. First name is pretty enough here, like email and first name. You can move that around with this arrows. And remember, I showed you the lead matter. So let's add uh, like phone number more. Yeah. And you're going to find out that people are lazy. And that's why your page will not convert excellent. It will convert good. Why? Because uh, lazy people don't want to fulfill all those uh, address, email, first name, uh, I don't know, index, and a and lot of stuff. So less fields, more clients. Let's delete this phone number because uh, you're not planning to call those people, don't you? And let's go to actions. What's going to happen when somebody will fulfill all those stuff and will press send it to you? Uh, in this case, we promised to send a workout plan. Maybe it's PDF and we can add a lead magnet straight here. Uh, we can add this uh, file to send it to a human being who fulfilled the uh, uh, form. Yeah. Or it can be external URL in case if you're selling something or, or you want to make upsell or cross sell if this uh, page for, uh, for some kind of um, purposes like that or it can be landing page that you will build within your style within your logo within your colors to say thank you you can build separate page yeah uh, or it can be default lead pages thank you page it's up to you decide uh, how it's gonna be uh, and that's pretty it what i want to show you more that you can hear in styles you can change all fonts for entire page just in one click and that's also very cool favicon is uh, laying also here let's go to settings and a couple words about that uh probably you want to be visible to search engines that's why seo preview page title description keywords should take care about that Social, if you want to share your link to Facebook, that's how it will be displayed on Facebook. So, recommended to upload uh, such picture or larger, yeah, and upload that. Title, description, also here. Analytics, if you need some analytical information about visitors, about how your site is performing, definitely you need to switch on the Google tra analytic and tra uh, Analytical Tracking ID, and uh, that is the place to make that happen. That's pretty it, guys. We made the website a simple landing page in under 20 minutes. And if you're going to find the template that's used to your business, you can change everything. And in one hour, you can go live with your website. Isn't that cool? I think it is. Uh, so appreciate that you watched this video till the end. Hope you enjoyed. Hope this was useful and I hope you're going to use our link in the description panel of this video to get access to this fantastic platform. Thank you one more time and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.